Hello Floss Tube. my name is Sarah, I'm from Memphis, and this is my channel about cross stitch. Today is Saturday, December the 18th, and it is day 18th of Flossmas, and I really think this Flossmas should be titled Dear Santa. Memphis Sarah E. desperately needs a new ring light and stand, because this one is on the struggle bus. It's going this way, it's going that way. When he's bumping into it, I can't get the ring light to turn the right direction anymore. I can't get the pole to stay in the right height. It is what it is, y'all. I guess I need to do some Christmas shopping on Amazon for myself. That's what it sounds like to me. <laughs> I hope you've had a wonderful Saturday so far. I started off this morning with a nice short work shift, and so that was lovely. I've been home all afternoon, and I have been doing laundry and stitching. Stitching, stitching, stitching on the Yule Ball by Forbidden Fiber Co. When I really needed to be stitching on my son and daughter's Christmas ornaments, because, you know, next Saturday is Christmas, one week. Um, instead, I just can't quit stitching on the Yule Ball Mystery Stitch Along from Forbidden Fiber Co. and Michelle Bendy Stitchy. And if you hear all that sniffing, that's Winnie sniffing around everywhere. I'm sorry. Winnie, can we settle down, please? Settle down. All right. So, let's see. Yesterday was a very nice day. It was a very nice day. Our steaks were great. We had a great little dinner celebration. And we ended the evening by watching Gremlins. Classic Christmas movie, Gremlins. Oh my gosh, when's the last time y'all have watched Gremlins? Hmm. It was good. It was good. I mean, that woman at the bank, if you go back and watch it, like I said, no spoilers here. These movies are too old to have spoilers. Um, that woman at the bank that is trying to get the boy's dog because he ruined her Bavarian Frosty the Snowman or she's, she's like the Wicked Witch of the West or the, the mean lady in um, The Wizard of Oz who's trying to get Toto. I mean, she's like telling him she's going to boil him in a bath and these all these terrible things. I'm like, what the heck? So, yeah, that movie was like, well, like scary and funny and a little disturbing, like all thrown into one. But anyway, that's what we watched last night, Gremlins. And like I said, they've been just stitching away. Let me show you where I am. I have finished Wassel. And I have done a lot of Yule stitching. I haven't started the Bayberry yet. So, this is where I am. Ta-da! So, the wassail part I finished up was this little house up here, or ski lodge, or whatever it may be. And then the Yule, which is highly variegated. I'll show you what that looks like. Um, it is this, uh, it's this border. So, you see like a double border all the way around so i gotta finish that before i can move on to the bay berry and i think we get another piece today so let's get right into that this is going to be day 18 of our forbidden fiber co yule ball mystery stitch along where we will get a part of the pattern in a new floss color goody more temptation oh this one's pretty wreath isn't that pretty yeah, that's really pretty. That'll be fun. Fun, fun, fun. All right. Oh, what else have I been stitching on? Mm, I'll show you polar bear. Polar bear situation. This is the polar bear I'm working on for my son. This one right here. All right. So, I got all the Merry Christmas and the Aurora Borealis done, but I'm working on this polar bear. His face is not very cute yet. I'm hoping when I add all the fuzziness, his face will get cuter. <laughs> it just has a funny looking nose to me now. Maybe it's because I'm missing colors. We'll see. We'll see how it turns out. We'll see how it turns out. So I put in, I'm doing that bottom leg. So I'm doing a bunch of half stitching and then our, you know, I'm doing the, I'm doing the bottom leg of a stitch and then I'm going to do the top leg with, um, the whisper in coordinating colors. So here's where I am. I mean, I don't have a ton to go. I need to just get busy and knock it out. Right? Quit being distracted by the mystery stitch along. Day 18, Advent, Kitten Stitcher, 25 Days of Christmas. Let's see what this is. Oh, oh. It's some limited edition gentle arts. Gosh, these are pretty. These are like Christmassy colors, aren't they? 
Christmas tree colors. Very pretty. There's no, no names to them because they're limited edition, but they are very pretty. I like them. General Arts really, really are about one of my very faves. Yeah, I love them. They stitch really nice. They have the prettiest colors. All right, so that is, no, 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 that's not it for my Advents. Let's just keep talking about Advents. Let's just keep keep on track, Sarah. Let's do, where are we on? Let's see. Day, day four of my Hallmark Christmas Countdown Tea, which I haven't been drinking these with you. I'm sorry. We haven't eaten dinner yet. I've got um, lasagna courtesy of the Costco kitchen in my oven right now. So, ooh, Ginger peach, I love peach tea. Peach tea is my fave, just about. Mmm, that sounds wonderful. I'll have to have some of that after dinner. And my last advent, which I'm so proud of myself, I have not forgotten today. Let's find some socks, let's see. Day five, looks like um, he's ready, Buddy the Elf is ready to do some uh, snowball fighting here. See what we got in here. So I was just thinking, when I started these floss tubes, I had these major Christmas plans. And I had this huge bunch of kitted projects sitting to my left that I haven't even started yet. And it's gonna be Christmas before I know it. Please tell me that happens to somebody other than myself. Too much work. If I had had more days off, I think I could have knocked out some more. Some of that stuff's going to be waiting until next year. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the part where he said, ooh, he's an angry elf. Oh my gosh, that scene. That's crazy. <laughs> if those fit my stepdad, I'd be sending those up to Wisconsin right now. Okay, that's it for my advent today. Let's talk about some haul I got in. So, y'all know I love the Garon Toten bags, and they had their bag sale and it was mostly Christmas bags and there are still some available so go check those out but I'll show you the three that I snagged. I was able to get a mini in this beautiful ornament print. I love the gold and how it just kind of shimmers. Nice pretty plaid on the inside. I was hoping to get a 12 by 13 size in this one but I think it was popular. It really is pretty, but I am excited to have this size because this is the perfect size for a Mill Hill, and I have several Mill Hill Christmas ornaments that when I get started, then, you know, they can live in here until they're done. My next one, oh, it's so pretty. It's a stained glass poinsettia. Oh, isn't this gorgeous? Actually, even though you probably won't believe me when you see the next one I got, this is the first one to really catch my eye this time. Like, this is my... This was my number one had to have. I know you're not gonna believe me when you see the next one, but I just loved this one so much. I just love the colors. I just thought it was beautiful. So, I love that one. And last, but certainly not least, is this adorableness here. Aren't they so cute? Y'all know I love my Mickey. I love the peppermints inside. That's, that's really, really a cute touch. Mickey and Pluto. Oh, we got Minnie on here too. So cute. I love them. I love them. So that was my haul. I was very happy to get that in the mail. I really don't think I have much coming for haul other than that anytime soon. I don't think I have any orders unless I get some fabric of the month or bag of the month stuff coming, which, oh, I guess I should. I should be getting that soon if they don't get tied up with them. Um, holiday shipping and all that good stuff. I mean, so that's pretty much it for me today. Um, yeah, like I said, my plans have not come to fruition with all that fun stitching I was wanting to do. I'm still really enjoying myself. I'm just, you know, not doing what I set out to do. In fact, I haven't even started my birthday start yet. Now, I, my birthday was pretty wild and there was two, that I didn't have time to get started on my birthday. Um, I might start it tomorrow. It's, it's, a, it's, I don't remember if you remember it, but it's that Victoria sampler and it's a bunch of Glorianas and silk packs and just getting started is going to be a little bit complicated. So I kind of needed a day when I didn't work or I wasn't running in and out to do a bunch of things just to kind of focus on it and settle down and get it started. Because for me, 
starting is the hardest part. It's probably my least favorite part. Not that I don't in general like to start things, but I don't like to, I don't like to start them, you know, um, I don't mind kidding them. I think that's fun. Um, but it's just like the day that I sit down and I need to iron my fabric and measure it again and possibly cut it and make sure all of my floss are on drops and, you know, decide where I'm going to start, get it in the cue snap, mark my spot, and then finally get those first couple stitches in. That's, that's, that's my, that's my least favorite part. I really love to just have them in their project bags behind me, like I can just whip them out. And even if they're not on cue snaps, which most of mine, they're not on cue snaps back there. Um, I just pop them in the cue snap and start stitching. That's, that's my jam. That's, I like to do that. So, um, takes a little, a lot of thought and, you know, a little, a little work and not my most fun stuff. So, um, yeah, so that's probably why I've been putting that off. So I might have a belated birthday start on that tomorrow, which is why it's really going to be very important for me to have my ducks in a row on these 12 starts on New Year's Eve with Pam and Kia B and everyone else that's doing it. I know Zan, Crazy Band Lady Stitches. Oh, by the way, I forgot to insert our picture of us at lunch on um, Thursday together. So here's that. We literally had the nicest time. I, I'm like I said, I was so, so, so happy to get to see her. So really to get back to um, the 12 new starts on New Year's Eve, that's kind of like ripping off that Band-Aid 12 times for me, but I'll, I will so appreciate it because I will actually get some stitching done on these um, pieces, these things I've had kitted up that I really wanted to get started on. So that'll be helpful. Um, I watched um, stitching at the cabin today. They have their whip parade out. I really enjoy them and they are both stitching Christmas mousse from Panna that I talked to you all about before. That I've been kind of struggling on with the fabric choices and they're both stitching it on what it came on and I'm like maybe I should just stitch it on what it came on. I mean it's not a terrible color or anything like that. I was just sort of leaning towards blue. I really got to sit down and figure that out because I think if I don't get that started like in the next couple days, that's going to turn into one of my 12 New Year's Eve starts. So, because I really want to start that one too. I think that's it, y'all. Um, in the morning, I'm going to chit chat with my mom and my aunt. We're going to do a little zooming and um, I'm just going to kind of, I'm just going to stitch tomorrow and do some things around the house. And then I got a little um, stitchy get together planned with. Um, Bobby of Pumpkin Creek Primitive and Carrie of Three Trail Stitchers tomorrow evening. We're going to work on our labyrinth thing and just kind of catch up because it's been a while since we got to talk. I pretty much think that's it. So I'll be back to see you at some time tomorrow and um, I'll have some sort of stitching to show, share with you. And anyway, I hope y'all are having a great weekend and hmm, I'm going to decide what Christmas movie I'm going to watch tonight. Uh, we started to watch Surviving Christmas the other day. That was good. I don't know. Have y'all ever seen that one before? It's got, oh, sorry, neighbor's dog. Ben Affleck's in it, Christina Applegate, James Gandolfini. Oh my gosh, Moira Rose, but what's her real name in real life? That's awful, I just had a complete, hmm. you know what I'm talking about. She's fabulous. So yeah, so I just started barely watching it and I think I'm gonna finish watching that in a minute. Yeah, so that's it. I know this is long and kind of uh, distracted and rambly, so y'all just y'all just bear with me. I'm just having a Saturday, and um, take care. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Bye.